So there was a game I just kind of remembered out of nowhere for having such an awesome trailer that most people thought was fake, but more and more has come out and now it's easily my most anticipated game. Same with a lot of people I imagine. I went over it in a older stream, but now I want to do a even deeper dive and go over some of the more newer uploaded videos as well as looking at some older stuff. First, let's start with the trailer that caught my attention. Okay, so we're seeing, well, some lovely, lovely particle effects, as well as a showcase of the combat, which I'll get more to in a little bit, but I noticed the mini-map, something that kind of reminds me of Dinosaurs. There's going to be a lot of enemies on stream at one time, is what I'm seeing. Another thing, destructible environments. How detailed that will be? Wait and see. But destructive environments these days is something you just don't see in great detail. For reasons that people have went over in the past. Anyway. I just I actually just noticed that the top right says convicted crime. Was he not supposed to do that? Is there some little crime system here? Well, of course there'd be a crime system. It, it can't not have one in a game like this. The carrying that thing right there, that right there is the most Dragon's Dog thing I've seen so far. And again, he's pretty Goodness gracious, this... This game really is, does have a lot of inspirations. It really is just take everything you've ever played and put in the blender. My goodness. I see the Skyrim, the Witcher, the Dragon's Dogma, just everything you do. Oh yes, oh and I forgot, stealing that carriage also add a bit of GTA to it as well. It showed there will be alternate ways to get from one location to that genre. <laughs> steampunk. That was a steampunk dragon we just saw. Okay, well, again, how can you not love a trailer like that? And also not be very suspicious because, again, it just had everything. The def absolute definition of ambitious. So in the comments put, Dragon's Dogma Breath of the Witcher. <laughs> yeah, there's more in there. There's some Assassin's Creed, clearly. Now, um, I won't go over the older trailers and commentary, but eventually they summed up this thing because I was not familiar with this. This is apparently an MMO at first, and from what I can gather from what they said, um, World, which they just called Crimson Desert, is a uh, northern, based in a northern land, tough, brutal land with tons of mystical creatures. You're the leader, a character named Macduff, a uh, leader of mercenaries, and they highlight that none of these characters are heroes, they're just people trying to survive. This is not a hero's tale. And there will be mystical creatures, factions, and some political stuff of course. But most importantly there will be lots and lots of emphasis on the action. However, the one thing I'm, I won't say a word about, I want more information on is the multiplayer element, because this was apparently MORPG at first, which Makes it worry a little bit for the open world, but an element, there will be an element of multiplayer that's intertwined with the single player, and I don't understand how that will work. We just have to wait and see on that. But, anyways, now, I did mention, and I gotta bring it up, the developers mentioned when it comes to combat, 
there's two things that are supposed to go on. One is wrestling. When they mean wrestling, do they mean WWE or do they mean like real wrestling? I want to make going after enemies like going off of ring rope. So yeah, that and some Taekwondo, which I guess is where the kicks come from. So, so far my only worries are uh, how will multiplayer be included and lock on. It's probably soft lock because it sometimes looks like when you're fighting that you're just looking at things sideways. And I wonder if that's going to be awkward with the camera. Well, those are my thoughts anyway. I'm personally really excited for this game. But tell me what you think. Later.